Erosion. 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 What a wild thing that is. Ben Curry, Belleville, Ontario, Canada. Good morning, guys. We're here right near the Fog Knot Click Caves. Today is our big day. We're gonna go check out the caves. We're about 23 kilometers from Paradise Cave. We're gonna hop on our motorcycles, hit the road. Can't wait for today. Definitely gonna be one of the highlights of Vietnam. You guys ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to fight. <laughs> It's a bit to get going. When the locals see me try to start it, they always tell me, you need more gas, you need more gas. No, I don't. This is how she runs. So Drake's bike's chain keeps falling off, so he's hopping on. We gotta go three wide. This is gonna be <laughs> sketch. <laughs> Right, so as you saw there, we had to leave Drake's bike with some random guy on the side of the road because the chain was so loose it just kept falling off. Ben's bike has no gas in it and there's no gas station in sight. Three people on my bike coming down the hill. It was so steep that my brakes were fully pulled in and we were still ripping down the hill. Super sketchy. Dude, I won't But guess what? We're here at Paradise Cave. Doesn't look like there's a lot of people here, which is... Freaking awesome. All right, so the ticket to get in to Paradise Cave here is 250,000 dong, which is about $17. Uh, let's go see if it's worth it. Thank you. If you hate walking, you can uh, get one of these buggies and I'll take you to the cave. Not completely sure how long of a walk this is gonna be. Well, just a little bit of a walk here, probably just over a kilometer. It looks like we're getting close now. A little bit of hill walking. I just strip some layers down. That's what it's all about, baby. Live down. As you can tell, that walk was pretty high up. Holy crap. Oh, here we go. No way. Woo! This is insane. I'm not sure if my camera gives perspective on how absolutely massive this cave is. It's amazing that nature can do something like this. Oh. So this is cool back here. What do you see this way? It just keeps going. Holding this place up? Hurry up. Oh, hurry up, it's gonna crush me. Oh my god. It just keeps getting better. If you tried to kick a rugby ball, you probably wouldn't hit the ceiling. That's how that's how high it is because like usually you can kick a rugby ball pretty high, but like this is unbelievable. This cave just goes forever. It is indescribable. Indescribable how amazing this place is. I just can't believe nature can do this. I'm a bit confused because this pathway comes to an end here, but I know this cave goes way longer. I just, maybe we're just not allowed to go longer. Is there a pathway down there? So there is a staircase right here. I think you have to be on a tour and you can go deeper into the cave. We're only about a kilometer in right now. And uh, this is how long the cave is total. Oh. Now that we're leaving, it's getting really busy. This girl's taking these people on a tour and she's got a microphone, so it's gonna get loud in here.
Oh, you're leaving some comments, eh? Yeah, I'll leave you a little comment about this cave. It's amazing <laughs> that in this massive mountain, there's just a little hole right there and it just opens up into that huge cave. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Made it here to Dark Cave. This place is 450,000 to uh, zip line down, get in a kayak, then kayak into the cave, and then you go in and like play in the mud and swim and stuff. It's gonna be pretty chilly because uh, it's pretty cold out. Um, Cost about $30 Canadian. Should be pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'll have to GoPro it. Just watch a video of uh, what we're doing. It looks pretty sweet. This is gonna be the coldest experience ever. Why does everyone have a life jacket except for me? <laughs> Apparently, this is the longest zip line in Vietnam. Maddie G! <laughs> Grab his toe, his little toe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Atta boy. Oh. <laughs> Zip line was fun. Oh, it's chilly. Oh. <laughs> ah. Well, this isn't bad. Is that... Oh my god, look at this cave. Woo. Look at the color of the water here. Swim right in the cave. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see my face right now, but this is pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> now we just walk through this really dark cave. It's actually sketch. Think you good, bro? <laughs> Think we're about to get a muddy surprise. Oh, this mud feels so weird. <laughs> Crazy. Oh. You're a muddy boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turn the lights off. Yeah, turn the lights off. Oh! Oh my I'm god. Ah, ah, <laughs> this is not good for the vlog. <laughs> oh, you chocolate boy. Chocolate. Back from now. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that was a super cool experience here at Dark Cave. Everything from the zip lining to the swimming in the cave to playing in the mud. When we shut all of our lights off, it was the darkest I've ever seen anything in my life. It's actually like such a crazy feeling to have your eyes completely open, but 
you cannot see any light. It's just completely dark. That was pretty cool. Then the kayaking and the jumping off those zipline things was just a little cherry on top at the end for a very cool overall experience. Now we got some things to figure out. We got to try to get Ben's bike back into town before he runs out of gas. We need to go find Drake's bike that we left at a, with a random guy and figure out how to fix it. I don't know what's gonna happen. So we made it back to the hotel. We found some gas for Ben, so that's good. He made it. Now Matt has to take his bike to the shop because on the way to this town yesterday, he was having some bike problems. We'll find Drake's bike. I think we're just gonna go ahead and try to get it somehow and try to get it back here and bring it to a shop. Uh, okay, so we found Drake's bike. Oh, it's all cracked in there. Oh dear. I guess we're gonna try to go slow and see if Drake's bike can drive, but if not, I'll just have to tow him, I guess. It's like morph, man. Do you see that? <laughs> so we're here at my favorite park place. Uh, as you can see in that GoPro video, Drake's chain was off and I had to push him from behind as I was riding my bike to just keep him going, but it actually worked pretty good. Uh, so we just left his bike at a mechanic shop, the same one that Matt's bike is at. Now we're gonna relax, have a meal, and we'll see where the bikes are at after this. Happens, eh? Looks like Matt's bike is done. Drake's bike is completely torn apart. Oh. Matt's oh. bike costs four hundred thousand. Twenty-eight dollars. He had no compression, so they had to take his head off and uh, do whatever, clean it out. I don't know if they replace anything, whatever. Drake's is gonna cost three hundred thousand, which is twenty-one dollars. He's getting a full new sprocket, basically the whole new piece and new bearings and all that. All right, guys, that's gonna be it today from here. What an incredible day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like live now on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and we'll see you guys tomorrow as we push towards Hanoi.